Hello viewers, uh, welcome to this wonderful session. We are going to learn about employability skills training as they integrated in the TVET sector. Welcome, my name is Joseph Mwangi. Uh, we'll start by first defining what employability skills is. And according to STEMnet, employability skills can be defined as the transferable skills needed by individual to make them employable. The skills can either be professional, that is job specific, or domain general, which includes time management, leadership, personal, life skills, among, other, among others. As you enroll for a TVET course, you are trained on what we call job specific skills. But besides that, you need a set of skills and attributes that will prepare you both for formal employment, self-employment, and further learning. There is an employability skills framework that includes what employers think makes a good employee. For a person to be considered competent in an area, a right mix of knowledge, skills, and attitudes must be demonstrated. At the end of this lesson, you we hope that you'll be able to define what employability skills are, explain why they are important, review what skills you already have and what you need to improve on, get ideas on how to evidence your skills in a job application or interview. Most people don't show evidence of employability skills. And also you'll get ideas about how you can increase your employability skills. In competence-based education and training, they are what we call components. And uh, they revolve around the awareness, the familiarity, the understanding, the personal, the factual, professional skills, your feelings, behaviors, and beliefs, which are most of the soft skills. We are going to discuss around eight of the employability skills that are required in an employment environment. To start with, we will begin with communication and interpersonal skills. And what that means is that the employer looks for a person who has the ability to explain what they mean in a clear and concise way through written and spoken means. The employer, the employee must be able to listen and relate to other people and to act upon the key information and instructions. And the purpose of this skill is to be able to contribute uh, productive and harmonious relations across employees and customers. Elements in this skill include listening, speaking clearly and directly, writing the needs of the audience, negotiating re responsively, reading, empathizing, speaking and writing in languages other than English, among others that are listed there. Another skill that is important is problem solving skills. And what this means to the employer is that they want somebody who has the ability to understand a problem by breaking it down into smaller parts and identifying the key issues, implications, and identifying a solution. The employee must be able to apply the knowledge they have gathered, even from the Tibet job-specific skills, to different areas to solving a task. And the purpose of this is to produce uh, productive outcomes and the elements in these skills are the ones that would be able to develop creative, innovative solutions, developing practical solutions, solving problems in teams, applying problem solving strategies across a range of areas, and resolving customer concerns in relation to complex project issues. The third one that we'll talk about today is initiative and enterprise. And what that means is that you should be able to have new ideas of your own which can be made into a reality. Showing a strong personal drive and not waiting to be told to do things. You must have self-initiative. And the elements in this include adapting to new situations, being creative, translating ideas into action, generating a range of options, initiating innovative solutions among others. And the employers want you to contribute to innovative outcomes that will generate business for him. The fourth one that we'll discuss is planning and organizing. And 
what that means is that the employer wants somebody who is organized and very method methodical you're able to plan your work to meet deadlines and targets you're able to monitor progress of work to ensure that you're on track to meeting a deadline this is because the employer wants you to contribute to long and short-term strategic planning of the organization and the elements in this skill include being resourceful making decisions uh, taking initiative being resourceful adapting resource allocations to cope with contingencies understanding basic business systems and their relationships among others the fifth job uh, employability skill is teamwork which you also call team playing and this means that you're able to work with people from different disciplines backgrounds and expertise to accomplish a task or goal to vet courses usually are very job specific and are highly specialized so you need to work with teams to achieve the organization objective and this is to be able to contribute productive working relationships and outcomes the elements in this skill include working across different ages irrespective of gender race religion or political persuasion working as an individual and as a member of a team know how to define a role as a part of a team applying teamwork to a range of situations uh, including future planning crisis problem solving among others employers also want somebody who has the ability to learn and adapt and the elements here is to manage your own learning so that there is continuous professional development or what we call lifelong learning uh, so that you can contribute to ongoing improvement and expansion in the company operations and outcomes the elements include managing your own learning contributing to the learning community using a range of mediums to learn which includes mentoring peer support networking IT courses among others applying learning to technical issues and having enthusiasm for ongoing learning be willing to learn in any setting on and off the job and being open to new ideas and techniques and being prepared to invest time and effort in learning new skills the seventh critical employability skill is in technology and numeracy this would contribute to effective execution of tasks and what that means is that you'll have the ability to use data and mathematics to support evidence or demonstrate a point and the elements here as an employee you need to have a range of basic ICT skills and applying ICT skills as a management tool using ICT to organize data and be willing to learn new IT skills having the occupational health and safety knowledge to apply technology and having the physical capacity to apply technology in a workplace environment the last one that we'll discuss is negotiating skills and what this means is that you're able to take on board other people's feelings and express your own requirements in an, an emotional clear and fashion to achieve a win-win outcome and this would contribute to decision making and problem solving in an organization the element here is to have high interest to have legitimacy to provide options to, and to appreciate that business exists in the context of relationship as you work and as you train as, as a TVET trainee it's important to appreciate that these employability skills are sought after and they must be able to be demonstrated even in your curricular vitae as you apply for the jobs we'll discuss further in the next lessons thank you subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on twitter to get more of this